Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and this is my dog's Harley's channel. Today I wanted to talk about the big controversy going on on the internet right now which Zach George started. If you don't know who he is, he is a purely positive trainer. He has a big channel, over 3 million subscribers and now him and the balance trainer goes back and forth with their responses but I feel like it's missing one very important response from a dog owner like me, like myself who is using prone collars and e-collars and it's big big fan of, of them. I cannot imagine my life without them to handle my dog to some extent. So I wanted to put my input over here to the conversation as a pet owner. So I will start with saying to those who come here because I feel like I'm gonna get some hate over here in the comments and please 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 commenting you know negative comments give me a dislikes if you want they are highly appreciated because it puts my channel up out there YouTube likes dislikes likes anything what's going on on the channel is good good or bad so just a heads up anyway I wanted to talk about my point of view as uh, someone who's using uh, aversive tools, okay? My dog, a doggo Argentino, is uh, in her low 80 to high 70 something pounds. I am 115 pounds. So you can see that the level here is not eco. If she wanted to pull me across the street, she would. That's why I am walking here in a prone collar almost all the time. Sometimes she will go in a regular collar, sometimes she will go in the... Oh my god, what was the collar called? With that little chain here and a regular collar on the side. Because she is able to. I have never used the prone collar because she is a puller or anything like that. In fact, I taught her how to walk in a... Uh, um, harness yes I taught my dog how to work in a harness I no longer own a harness and uh, you may say oh so why did you take a, such a you know big dog if you can't handle it physically well you are not in the place to tell me what dog I can have and what dog I can't have it's not your business but if you must know my husband and I love big dogs medium to big dogs plus I have anxiety of people breaking to my house so even so owning a scary looking dog gives me a peace of mind so here you are here is your answer even that it's not out of your business if you hear the noises it's my baby then the next thing is why I use e-collars is because I love to go in uh, woods to hike and I want my dog to be off leash to run over the trees under the fallen trees whatever she wants and I hate long lines they get tangled they get muddy and wet and disgusting and you know training the dog with the e collar was the best thing I could ever see I know you will say they're open they, you know your dog is probably unhappy and shut down and it's true emotions are hidden it's gonna get aggressive I probably have like videos over here here or here I don't know and I am not naive I know you will tell me that you know your dog's ears you know go this way or this way so it's unhappy it's stressed out it's just hiding it I know that if you admit based on those clips that my dog is happy it would ruin your whole ideology your whole cult it would go you know <laughs> to the garbage because if those tools are so bad like how is it possible that my dog has such a big smile on her face and that she is so happy to see e collar in my hand because she knows it's going to be something fun another thing is why i plan to continue using prone collar and e collar is because i had a baby recently and once uh, he's a little bit older and the weather is better i am planning to go back on hikes and walk for two hours straight 
and the safety of my son is more important even than the comfort of my dog okay I'm gonna carry him in the carry-on or sling whatever and he needs to be safe and my dog needs to come back to my heel whenever I call it I do not want to chase my dog through the woods because she decided to and uh, yeah yes I don't want to chase my dog, okay? And uh, as I said, long lines, leashes, they get muddy, they get dirty. I don't want to use them unless I have to. So no, I want to have a good fun, good time with my dog in the woods. Next thing you may say is, you may say in my country, prong collars, ear collars are banned and people know how to train their dogs without using them. So I must say, you know what, you know what also is banned in these countries? My dog, the breed of my dog, classified as aggressive, whatever. <laughs> and you know what, I think it's because of lack of tools in those countries. That dog needs to be told no that dog needs rules expectations otherwise it's gonna go crazy and it's gonna run your house and it's not gonna be pretty yes it may get aggressive because of that because of lack of your um you know training um knowledge because cookies not gonna say um, solve everything okay the dog needs to be told no sometimes in the way the dog understand so you know maybe prong collar maybe some corrections whatever not i'm not a trainer anyway yes those dogs are also banned in those countries in australia you may say you know e collars and prong collars are banned there i read somewhere on facebook i think someone's uh, comment under the conversations of that that you can buy each uh, piece of the prong collar and just put it together and no one's gonna bother you for using it so here it is if you know because of your stupid ideology and your cult those tools were banned in canada i think i would buy like five of the e collars and just hide them under bandera so no one would see them but i would still keep using them because it gives me a peace of mind it's just amazing also next thing is my husband is going to ride a bike in the woods with the dog as well so how safe it is for him to hold the leash it's better if the dog just runs but to keep the dog safe and everyone around it whoever is using those trails as well it's to have a reliable dog and i know you can teach dog you know recall whatever but it's just so much better like it's a modern technology when the dog is chasing something it's just in such a state of mind that you yelling and your cookie may not work simply because that prey is more important and the e is like a tap on the shoulder like hey pay attention to me and it's the only thing that can get the dog out of the state of mind but i know you won't understand that it's even too much information i feel like and the last thing is i was purely positive you know pet owner and i have a video about that in more details if you wish to watch and i strongly believe that it cost my dog life because she was highly reactive and I was walking her on the stupid harnesses. She was 80 pounds. Many times she pulled me across the street, like literally to another dog. And uh, it just wasn't safe. The, ha the ha um, halty thing, she hated it. She absolutely hated it. It was the worst thing. She saw it and she would just rip it off of her face. She had like a short, short face as of being a boxer american bulldog mix so that did not work so only hardness and i also wanted to say people say that this healthy thing it's not aversive so please explain it to me i want to know how this is not aversive it sits on the most sensitive part of the dog's face there's like a million connections, okay? The dog would rather lose the sight and the ears than lose its smell. 
I'm, I think I will post a picture here of this like million connections on the dog's face. So how is this not aversive? I also see that dogs pulls in it and then their face it just like that and everything comes out of that tool and the dog pulls and it just goes like that. It's horrible to watch, it's heartbreaking and yes, again, you have to teach your dog how to walk <sighs> you know, but still, it's just a tool exactly, it's just a tool you can use wrong prong collar, you can use wrong the healthy both will cause damage to the dog but of course you had to cherry picking, right, what's right and what's not and it's because someone told you but think about that think about that healthy how is this healthy not aversive and how is this healthy good for anyone really i think the last thing i wanted to talk about is the studies that based on the dogs uh no longer can use or the owners no longer no longer can use prongs and equalizers in training well i <laughs> I'm not a professional, okay, I'm not um, a study, you know, crazy person. Anyway, I saw once a video um, based on which I think uh, Ireland uh, was banned their tools. <laughs> and as of someone who is not trained how to read those studies, I would say that I would rather have that equaler dog than the dog who was wearing healthy because it was um, around livestock for the dog with equaler the dog was uh, around the um, ships they were also outside of the cage very close to the dog and in the other one they were far far away in the cages and the dog was pulling all the way on the lead and then yeah when called back and offered you know a snack it did come back so the <laughs> conclusion was there's no difference and you know uh, whatever like study being study okay but stress that you know the aversive tools causing stress stress is everywhere guys everywhere and uh, sometimes you know we have to experience something bad to learn if my kids been told a million times to not touch that stove, you're gonna get burned, maybe eventually I will let them touch something hot so they will get burned on the tip of their fingers. So they will finally learn on their own that they're not supposed to do that before they jump into the fire or something. I don't know, this is just a stupid um, comparison, but stress is with us everywhere. Stress can teach us a lot. You know, stress is part of our survival and I don't think so stress is necessary, but... So the last thing is that, uh, you know, that the bait that the prawns and the e collars in the wrong hands can cause a lot of harm and I do agree with that, but like with everything, you get lost your cages recently in one of the countries and everyone was like, oh, but it's not the tool, it's how you're using it. Exactly, it's not the tool, it's how you're using it. You can mistreat everything if you put the healthy on and just keep pulling and you know do all bunch of stupid stuff you're gonna hurt the dog so you can and definitely will hurt the dog with everything you want like really you can take a stick and uh, cause a lot of harm so that's how it is with the tools it's you really should educate people to not to use those cheap, crappy short collars. I do agree that those one on the internet, the cheap ones of Amazon, the Chinese ones are short collars. They do not work the same way like the e collar, in my opinion, because they break, right? You condition your dog on 10 and all of a sudden the 10 doesn't work. So you go up and up and up and then <laughs> whatever number it starts working and then boom the door is terrified so you know if you are planning to use this modern technology you have to invest so money and i think that's where we should put you know or uh, you know energy into into educating people how to use those stuff how to not to use them 
and even if you know people by mistake misuse it let's say oh by accident you know my kids switch it to a higher level and my dog jump in the air i think if you have like a strong a connection with your dog in a relationship it's not gonna ruin it at all the dog lives in the present it should not cause too much of a harm maybe if it's a very sensitive dog then yeah but you know it's not for kids you have to be responsible and you have to make sure that no one who's not trained into the proper use of it should not use it right it's a common sense it is a common sense if i don't know how to use guns i'm not going to use it because simply i don't know how and i can do a lot of damage so anyway i learn e-collar myself not with a tra trainer but i think i am quite smart person when it comes to stuff like that and i was able to do it myself but if you are not feeling comfortable with using them, then definitely hire a trainer. But I promise you, it's going to make your relationship with the dog stronger and all. I also feel like completely out of a uh, conversation that the balance training people are so much more compassionate and so much more nicer i feel like the positive only people they are so angry inside they're just like looking for the fight they they looking for stuff they will see a happy dog and like i say they will find the ear go inside when they will say stress dog they will shame you for trying to use anything there is nothing positive there's nothing nice over there at all so i just wanted to finish here my perspective as a dog owner of a powerful big breed i feel like i need it and it's not even that i'm using it i just like the comfort of having it when i need it because i feel it's better to you know put it up and do it high and have a dog back than lose the dog or keep the dog for the rest of its life on the leash and uh, yeah that's my five cents over here you may like it you may not like it i just feel like it was needed to put it out there i'm not the best in the base or you know proving my point or fighting for my point i am more of a avoiding conversations and stuff like that but sitting here in front of the camera it's a great way to put my five cents over there i think this one is gonna be the very very last one um, i feel like people who are against those uh, tools they have never used them it was me myself many years ago as a purely positive you know pet owner vegan i was a vegan i have never had the prawn collar in my hand even but just the idea of it you know disgusted me if someone told me about using e collar i think i would lose my shit on that person because it was ideology only really i had no i did not know anything about how those tools are working i did not know anything i thought like most of the people i think think you just you know press random buttons and there is no training into it there is no <laughs> sense involved into it and it's not like that at all you actually have to be skilled a little bit before you use those tools because it's not just putting on and that's it and also all i saw with prong colors it's them sitting very low like a necklace stuff like that and uh, proper use of those tools is very important i can't stress enough about that it's uh, for smart people like everything in the world you need to educate yourself and teach yourself how to use it before you put it on the dog a common sense over here right so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i will see you with my next one bye guys <laughs>